Happy Sunday, it's Emoji Nightmare, and I'm here with episode 14 of RuPaul's Drag Race US season 14, The Ru Cap. Uh, I am here in exotic Rutland, Vermont, where I'm performing tonight, and this hotel room is gonna be a while tonight. Probably not, but you never know. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. It's, uh, this, it's just this episode, and then we've got the finale. So uh, a queen's gonna go home. It's gonna be the final four. It's gonna be very exciting. Just to recap, we've got Bosco with three wins, Angeria and... Camden both have two wins, and then Willow and Daya each have a win under their belts. It's also stated that this is a top five where there are two queens who have already been eliminated. Daya was one of the first queens out, but came back, and Bosco was saved by the gold bar. Rue announces the final maxi challenge is going to be a music video for the song Catwalk. The queens will have to create their own lyrics and perform and a, choreogra a choreographed number for a music video, as well as design their own outfit for the video. Luckily, a designer gets to make their outfit for them, which there's a part of me that feels like it's great that they're gonna have a nice, really nice finished piece, but I would have loved to have seen another construction challenge for a design, but I get it. We move on to the Tic Tac interviews with Michelle and Rue. This is kind of a really um, tired tradition in RuPaul's Drag Race, in my opinion, where they meet one-on-one -on -one and they kind of just discuss the season and sort of unpack how they have done. For me, it feels like every time I see Amber LeMay at Three Needs, um, there's some tough love, there's some shade, but ultimately uh, you walk away kind of feeling a little bit more heart warmed. Heart warmed? It's a heartwarming experience. During practice with the choreographer, Michelle says, okay, you are essentially going to be catty supermodels battling for the spotlight. That's what you want to channel. Angeria really struggles with the choreography. It's not looking great for her during this segment. I think Bosco was really hitting a lot of the moves. Um, Willow was kind of dead faced, um, just like zero expression at all. The queens each have to do this segment where they are strutting on the catwalk and Michelle gives Angeria uh, some advice to crawl down the runway. Angeria doesn't take it, but next up is Daya and she, heard that and saw that Angeria didn't do it. And so she did it, which was a very smart idea because it looked fierce and fabulous. Getting run ready for the runway uh, while the queens are doing their makeup, uh, they talk about sort of their first impressions and we get to know them a little bit more and, and what relationships they have with one another. And it's a pretty tight top five. Um, we learn that Angeria and Willow are very, very close, um, which will make this elimination even harder. On the runway, the category is you're a winner, baby. So it's like basically their coronation walk, um, their best drag, you know, just turning out a really strong look. For me, Camden and Daya had the best, strongest looks. I really enjoyed Daya's kind of like avant-garde, rough burned dress look. And then Camden was just stunning. I didn't quite get Willow Pill's rat look. I thought it was definitely outside the box, but I didn't know it would be, I don't know if I would classify it as you're a winner, baby. We get to watch the video and this is where we finally hear some of the lyrics that the Queens had worked on. And we didn't get any of that behind the scenes footage of them recording or, you know, in the really just a couple moments in the workroom of them working on the lyrics. So this was a real treat and I'm excited to rewatch the video later. I want to say too, that this top five seems really, really strong. Um, there's really not one person that I feel um, is, you know, unlikable and that should go. And so, yeah, so it's, it's a little hard. I think Daya, according to you all, you know, and I agree, we kind of think she's the next to go, but, after this challenge, it's looking like she's pretty well off and set for the finale. In another tired RuPaul's Drag Race tradition, Ru holds up pictures of the performers as children and <laughs> asks the queens to, um, you know, give advice to the toddlers uh, of their past. And it's, it's fine. It's, 
a filler. I would have loved to have seen some of the other footage from working on the catwalk uh, video instead of these types of like the Tic Tac interview and then this segment. Like, I feel like it's just been overdone and I would have loved to have seen some more of them actually working on the challenge. Ultimately, we learn that Daya is safe and then Camden is the winner, which is really awesome. That will make it her third win. In the bottom three, it's Bosco, Angeria, and Willow. Bosco is safe and the queens in the bottom lip sync. Angeria and Willow lip sync to Telephone by Lady Gaga and Beyonce. The two go at it, but they're friends, so it's a little difficult. I think Angeria did a better job at the lip sync. Um, and we find out that Ingeria is indeed safe. And then we learn that Willow is also safe because this is the season of safety. No one ever gets eliminated. We're going into the finale with five queens. Rue has to crown a winner, right? Or will all five of them be the winner? I don't, I don't know at this point. So uh, stay tuned. Next week is a recap episode, and I believe that Amber is going to be at Three Needs doing a watch party for that. I am going to be at Three Needs for the finale on April 22nd, so please be there for that. And then, of course, we'll have the recap on April 24th for you all. All right, for now, thanks for watching. I'm Emoji Nightmare.